But we're going to start here in Troy, where police say twin brothers have been killed in an apparent murder-suicide. Thanks for joining us at 5, everyone. The twins' father was also shot in this and was taken to the hospital. It all started early this morning at a home on Lark Drive, right in the area of Waddles and Coolidge. Nick Monticelli is live in Troy tonight with new information, and there were multiple calls to 911, Nick. Yeah, Priya, good evening. There were multiple calls. The first one came from the 62-year-old father living inside of this home behind me, calling, saying his son had shot him. The second phone call came from a neighbor just a block over, saying that there was a car crash in front of their home. That car turned out to be the other twin who had shot and killed himself before the vehicle crashed. They, they heard the gunshots. The neighbors on Lark Drive in Troy were up all night. This happened just before 1230 this morning. The twins were in the basement when one shot the other. The father heard the shots and came out of his room, was confronted by uh, the other son and was shot twice. The father called 911 saying his son shot him while that son put the family dog in the SUV, shot it and then shot himself while driving a block away. Making matters worse, the wife and mother of the twins was also home. She was not hurt. Oh my God, half the, the whole family's almost gone. I mean, it's, uh, I don't know why they got in a fight. We never heard of the boys fighting and anything like that. Friends and neighbors are having a hard time understanding why. How do you take a life? I, I, I just, you know, and, and certainly the, the Oxford one too. I mean, just, you, you, how do you snuff out somebody? Investigators can't figure out the why either. They say there's no history of fighting or mental illness, and the only two who really know what happened are gone. We really don't have, there's no, there's no uh, answer to why on this one yet. I don't know that we will ever know a motive on this. And that honestly is probably one of the most challenging parts of the story is that really nobody understands the why, and again, we may never understand the why. Priya, the only silver lining in any of this is that even though the father, 62 years old, was shot twice, he is expected to survive. Oh, and you're just, your heart goes out to the parents. So, Nick, what's next in the investigation? Well, honestly, there's not a whole lot left. They're kind of calling this a case closed situation. They did find the gun that was used inside of that SUV. And again, without understanding what the motive could be, they'll dig into it. They'll try to look to see if there were any past arguments or a history of some situations. But again, no history of mental illness, no history of any kind of domestic disputes or other fights. So this might be a situation where it's just over. And again, we will never know. All right. Thank you, Nick.